So CoffeeZilla puts this out on a tweet that um, YouTubers promoting FTX are being sued in a clash action lawsuit claiming $1 billion in damages. And so here is uh, the the news from Cointelegraph. It's, it's all over the place right now. But a uh, class action lawsuit by Edwin Garrison has been filed against FTX influencers, mostly on YouTube, seeking a billion dollars because they promoted FTX crypto fraud without disclosing compensation. The suit is filed March 15th in the, in the District of Florida, Miami Division. Kevin Pathrath, Graham Stephan, Andre Jick, Jaspreet Singh, Brian Jung, Jeremy LeFoufou, Tom Nash, Ben Armstrong, who is BitBoy, Erica Kohlberg, and Creators Agency were named as respondents. The defendants are eight YouTubers, the talent management company that handled promotion of FTX agency's founder, according to the suit. Did they not disclose? I have to go back and look. Did they not disclose that they were getting paid? I mean, I thought that was just kind of like already assumed. I thought that was common knowledge that they were getting paid. Maybe, maybe it was that they weren't getting paid enough or like they weren't disclosing how much they were getting paid. The Moskowitz law firm is representing the plaintiffs. The seven plaintiffs' names are from various countries and all per all purchased unregistered securities from FTX in the form of a yield-bearing account. The suit claims that plaintiffs suffered damages through uh, purchasing the unregistered security and the defendants promoted it from the financial benefit of themselves and or FTX. Global and national classes of plaintiffs were identified in the suit and making up thousands, if not millions, of co consumers globally whom FTX offered and or sold YBAs. It claimed the defendants are demanding damages on a sum of exceeding a uh, billion dollars. Here's my thing, guys. As, as much as I have my own opinions about the big four, as I always call them, me, Kevin, uh, Graham, Stephan, Andre, Jick, and and uh, Jeremy Lafufu, financial education. Uh, I I don't think anything comes from this. This this whole lawsuit, this class action lawsuit, really kind of reminds me of like an ambulance chaser type of deal, right? Uh, people got pissed because they lost a bunch of money in FTX, and so now the lawyers are coming out of the woodwork to get their either fifteen minutes of fame or just get their buck, get their money out of it. Uh, I I. This is probably something that ends up getting dragged out forever and then d ends up going nowhere. Uh, as, as, as I'm sure maybe some of you probably uh, would, would have loved to see some of these influencers uh, really get taken out to the woodshed. I just don't see how that happens. Um, they, they, they'd really have to show solid proof and evidence. And actually, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I think Kevin actually did say, that he was getting paid from FTX. And I even remember him saying that FTX seemed kind of shady as he was promoting it, which I don't know which is worse, right? You're you're getting paid to promote FTX, and then at the same time, you're talking about how shady it, it seems. I don't know what to make of that, but I guess if you're going to get paid, you might as well do the thing, right? Now, I will say that Tom Nash disclosed after FTX debacle came out uh, that he got paid like 40 grand. I don't know how many videos he had to talk about FTX, but 40 grand to uh, pump up FTX. But a billion dollars? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I just don't see how anything comes of this at all. Um, and I mean, yeah, I don't know. The SEC probably could have gone after them if they didn't disclose that they got paid to pump up FTX, but I'm pretty sure they all said that they got paid from them. I don't think that they disclosed how much they got paid, uh, but I think all you have to do is actually um, just say that you're getting paid from them. You don't have to say how much. So we'll see. I, I just, I don't want to burst anybody's bubble, but at the same time, it's kind of like this just, just seems like it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Danny Alvarado said, "Me, Kevin admitted he got paid five hundred thousand dollars by FTX. Are you serious? Five hundred grand? Time better hide out in Russia till this blows over. I mean, maybe it does. Stranger things have happened. Old ladies have spilled coffee in their lap and got paid millions of dollars for that shit, right? So I'm not saying it won't won't happen or can't happen. I just, I, I just, it doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere. 